see behind me here is my nut and small tree nursery. It's always useful to propagate your own trees. Now the ones that I usually specialise in is hazel, sweet chestnut and tilia. Now there's three reasons for that. Tilia is a good leaf crop. Um, the young leaves of small leaf lime and large leaf lime, you can eat them. They're good for a base in salads. Um, hazelnuts, sweet chestnuts. You know, sweet chestnuts take a lot longer to mature. But the good thing about nuts is we're going to have to rely on nuts a lot more in the future because it's a good way of getting carbohydrate and over could freeze. Um, at the moment we rely too much on annual crops. Yes, Leo, you're, you are important. We, I can hear you, all right? So today I'm going to show you how to propagate whips, as they're known in the landscape industry, or new saplings from cuttings. Now if you're going to take your own hazel cuttings, what you're going to have to do is find somewhere where they've either been coppiced or there's a hedgerow that's been recently cut and you've got one year's growth of about a metre. This is the sort of thing I'm talking about. So, you can see there, you want a nice clean cut. And you know, about a metre, well, to be fair, these are about 600 millimetres. But you know, you want a decent, a decent stem. I'd go from anything from 40 centimetres to 60, 70 centimetres. And that should, give, that should give you a decent cutting to put into the ground and propagate. So try and get a clean stem, you know, where you haven't got little branches. All you want is the nodes. You usually get these at the top of hedgerows. Now I've got a farmer friend who lets me have these, but to be fair with you, you know, disuse railway lines, places like that, I'm, I'm sure they're not gonna mind. But you know, what you, what you need to try and do, especially with hazelnuts, is get ones that you know have got a decent nut crop, and also, Leo, stop freaking the ducks out. I've told you about that, haven't I? Try and get um, your cuttings from different sources, different areas. This is actually from an ancient head row, um, and I know it's got a good nut crop because I had a few of them a few weeks ago. Um, but look, you've got to do this in the winter time when things, things are do dormant. So, you know, late autumn, winter time. Um, don't push it too far into springtime because what you'll find is the sap will start to rise and you need as much chance for these bad boys to root. So what I suggest you do is take these, now I've taken about 25 um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in sand, get a bucket of sand, usually what I do is I knock up a bit of, a bit of soil in there as well um, and I put them in a pot, um, a large pot and I put it in the nursery so I at least know there's some moisture content. You don't want to swamp them so they'll rot. Now, you're supposed to use hormone rotting powder, right? But I don't. I, I, I've never done it and, and it always works. So you could sound green fingered. If it makes you feel better, get some hormone rotting powder, dip them in. And also what I find helps is put them around the edges of the pot. Um, I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second. Um, I've got quite a few to do. All right. Right, so what you do, you get your cuttings and you put them in the sand along the edge, like so. Alright, just go around doing that. Try and get them in there about at least an inch and a half, I would say. Um, yeah, at least an inch and a half. Don't go too mad, you know, about, about that much. Just, just stick them in so you know they're going to get enough moisture and stay moist. Put some in the middle if you have to as well. You don't have to put them all around the edge. I find putting them around the edge is usually a good one. Leo, it's not yours to play with, all right? Well, I was going to do these in a different video, but um, seeing one sneaked its way in. Um, this is Tilia, um, ex-European. This is a lime, European lime, not the citrus lime. Um, and what's special about these little um, trees is 
Well, they're not little at all. They get huge, by the way. So remember, if you're going to do these, you've got to do them coppiced or you've got to do them pollarded. You're after the leaf crop here. And they are lovely, the leaves. Um, but, I mean, you know, there's not an, a massive amount of taste, but they're good for a base in salads. They've got a bit of taste to them. Um, and, you know, they're a pretty, pretty vigorous um, base crop for a salad. So once again, these are about 600 mil, about 60 centimetres long. A nice clean cut. I'm hoping that's a nice clean cut, as clean as you can. Also, another thing I forgot to say is you've got to get it below the node. Make sure you've got it below the node because that's where all of the rooting juice is going to be. I don't think that's a very technical term, but that, that is what you're after. You want to make sure you get it below the node. So here we go. Right. I'm hoping to get some chestnuts in here as well have a go at doing this if, if, if you're not as confident as you should be just get the hormone rooting powder it's probably safer right so there you go there's the lime and the hazel so a little bit of a span over the um, ones I did last year this is what you should end up with you know you should end up with something um, going on for a meat at all this year these you know these guys should really get going um, you know, I put these up, I sell some of them, I give them to friends. And if you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.